Hello people, welcome to my channel Physio Guide by Divya. Today I am going to explain about common test that we perform for uh, in musculoskeletal conditions. In ortho conditions, what are the test and procedure? Procedure also I am going to explain, okay? First one is the alkaline phosphate test. In this, the level of alkaline al the level of alkaline phosphate in serum is measured. So, if there is elevation, elevation may include any bone disease. Okay. Next one, ANA test means anti-nuclear antibody test. In this, the blood sample is tested for if there is any anti-nuclear antibody uh, with the help of the indirect fluorescence antibody test. If this IFA test is positive, this IFA is reported means it is present and the serum is measured so if the test is positive we can indicate there is a, a possibility of systemic lupus erythematosus scleroderma Raynaud's disease okay arthrography if x-ray not possible we can't see properly means a radiographic means a thin needle which is with contract medium is injected in the a thin needle is injected into the joint and uh, x-ray is taken in different directions such as in the knee and x-ray is taken okay to determine and if there is any structural abnormalities we can identify with the help of the arthrography next arthroscopy means a joint is visually see this is arthroscopy the joint is visually examined by inserting an arthroscope means with the inside there will be a camera fixed and monitored okay through a small incision a small hole can be used to differentiate we, they will differentiate acute and chronic disorders it will see did the what is the damage and obtain tissue it will take the tissue the, the tissue for biopsy means for test next one bone marrow aspiration bone marrow see this is the bone marrow aspiration diagram a needle is inserted into the bone cavity and bone marrow is extracted as by as means taken from that bone marrow for uh, examination microscopic examination the most common biopsy site is the back side below superior iliac crest of the pelvic bone pelvic bone superior iliac crest from there the bone marrow is taken for biopsy this biopsy can be useful in evaluating any various malignancies means any tumors cancers can be identified and blood disorders and infections also can be identified by this test next one the biopsy of muscle tissue means we will take a sample of muscle tissue is taken usually for usually surgically and examined microscopy blood test in blood test what will identify means if there is any elevated level of certain proteins and antibiotics so if there is an elevation means we can identify there is inflammation and autoimmune processes in autoimmune disorders okay next calcium test serum means in serum calcium level is measured if there is more we can uh, above normal we can indicate certain type of cancers the calcium below normal level can indicate the osteoporosis and pathological fractures also we can identify next one creatine kinase the level of creatine kinase enzyme in serum in blood is measured elevated level may indicate any cardiac and skeletal muscle damage okay now we'll da we'll see bone scan see this is a bone scan a bone seeking radioactive tracer is injected into the body a scanner is used to generate an images of the bones abnormal areas typically appear lighter and darker than normal areas this test is used to determine lesions fractures and malignancies tumors like okay many disorders can be detected by this procedure but not it can't differentiate means we can identify ct scan means computer tomography a computer generated reconstruction of a specific area is created for a series of x-ray images are taken as cross-sectional views of that area so these images are particularly useful in identifying like tumors lesions within bones okay inside within bones okay dual energy x-ray absorptiometry uh, this is in short DEXA means see this is the image this is the image x-ray technique used to determine the density of the bone with minimum radiation here 
used to screen for osteoporosis in high risk individuals so this is also known as dual energy x-ray absorption now emg means electromyography see this is the image needle see here needle is uh, prick over the muscle needle electrode are inserted into the muscle tissue and oscilloscope means this is the monitor this is the monitor oscilloscope record the electrical activity from the muscle this is used to test for muscle disorders and injuries so this can di uh, differentiate uh, helpful in differentiating between uh, muscle or nerve problem also okay now esr esr means the distance in mm that rbc settle in test tube after exactly 1 hour is measured the elevated values are associated with any inflammatory conditions like example polymyalgia and rheumatica next collagen disease any infection tumors anemia and other disorders that are that alter plasma proteins now next one is the lactic acid dehydrogenase means the level of lactic acid in serum is measured next mri see this is the mri 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 uses medical energy and radio frequencies to stimulate body cells to emit radio signals that are converted to images okay because MRI shows soft tissues better than hard tissues such as bone this method is primarily used to identify abnormalities like tumor lesions inflammation injury of the muscle and other soft tissues now x-ray x-ray of musculoskeletal structures this is part used particularly for body part to identify abnormalities any joint erosions tumors fractures can be identified mainly x-ray is taken first rheumatic rheumatoid factor serum is tested for the presence of any antibodies these antibodies are present in many individuals with rheumatoid arthritis so if this antibody is present we can identify the patient is suffering from rheumatoid arthritis now synovial fluid examination a needle is used to aspirate the synovial here this synovial fluid from a joint this is this procedure is known as the orthocentesis the fluid is viewed with the naked eye for viscosity color and clarity and now lab exam is performed to determine ph glucose level and wbc and this pm and glucose glucoside percentage okay now microscopic examination can determine presence of any crystals inside this synovial fluid a culture can be performed to determine presence of bacteria so by taking this we can do uh, many tests micrological uh, culture now various results can indicate any non inflammatory inflammatory or septic or hemorrhagic disorders if any disorders can be identified next one uric acid test the blood sample is examined microscopically to determine the uric acid level elevated level is indicative of any gout gout is present if there is elevation of uric acid we can identify as there is gout i hope you understood this topic thank you for watching this video